the 30th anniversary of Hoosiers, a reunion this weekend, and uh, David joining us now. David, good to have you on the program. Where are you right now? Right now I'm in Ladoga, Indiana, where Wade Skank, who played Ollie, lives. And uh, uh, this is the first time I've been back to Indiana in 30 years. So if I don't make it to the reunion, Dan, send out the uh, <laughs> sheriff. I'm either in Wade's basement or I'm in some cornfield somewhere. Can Ollie make free throws now? Well, we heard you. We were listening before I called in, and I can't lie. Ollie can still probably make some free throws. Oh, He's good. got that underhand technique down. How about uh, Maris, uh, Jimmy Chitwood? Can he still hit jumpers? You know, Maris had a pure shot. That's about, you know, he was no D Maris. He didn't like to play defense very much, but the guy was a pure shooter. I played ball with him when he came out to uh, L.A., to try and be an actor, and he could really uh, stroke the ball. He had a great shot, so I'm guessing he can still shoot. How did you get this role in Hoosiers? Uh, I was an actor, and I had just got an agent, so I had been auditioning for about six months, and, you know, I just went through the normal audition process, but I was the only kid that was not from Indiana. All the rest of the boys were, like, local uh, Indiana guys, and they were real basketball players. I was not, so I kind of faked it a little bit. Uh, when did you find out Gene Hackman and Dennis Hopper were going to be in the movie? Were they already in the movie? They, uh, you know, I don't know. You can ask Wade that. He might know better than I do, but pretty soon, I mean, I know that they were talking about Burt Reynolds, for a bit oh, and no you know yeah exactly i think david anspa said oh no <laughs> the director and it didn't work out so gene was great to work with uh and uh, pretty soon you know we found out or i found out that it was going to be dennis hopper and i was going to be his son and barbara hershey who i had kind of a giant crush on mm, we all did there david yeah yeah uh did barbara come back for the reunion she is probably not going to come back i'm not sure she was the happiest camper on that movie but uh why no uh because she uh i think she thought the movie was going to be about her and it turned out to be about (laughs) the basketball team (laughs) so maybe she wasn't the happiest on that movie but you know i still had a crush on her she's a great actress but it probably wasn't the best experience for her how intimidating who was more intimidating dennis hopper or gene hackman Oh, Gene, by far. I mean, Dennis hung out with us. You know, I can't tell you everything that he did, what happened in Indiana. Oh, give me a little bit. Give me a little bit, though, David. No, I can't. I mean, Dennis Hopper, rest in peace. But, you know, we got after it a little bit with Dennis. And, you know, Gene was very intimidating. He's not like a chatty dude. You know, you're not going to go up and chat with him. He's all business. And, I mean, I was definitely intimidated the first scene i think i did with him was in the classroom and i could barely look up you know you're sitting there acting with popeye doyle so it was a little little rough how tough was it to learn to play 50s style basketball well for me because i wasn't really a player i mean for me it was easy you know because i just i mean my playing style was actually like modeled after kurt rambis not a lot of skill but a lot of heart (laughs) and desire i was probably the worst player of all the boys but you know i just played very sort of basic and fundamental some of the other guys you know that had a more sort of modern style had to adjust a little bit but i think that everybody did pretty well he's uh, david nydorf who plays everett in hoosiers he was also in platoon and bull durham uh, what did you think when that movie first came out uh you know i don't think any of us expected it to be very popular you know i saw it at a screening in los angeles Uh, because I was in Platoon, and it was the same production company, Hemdale. And at the screening, you know, I happened to be seated right behind James Woods, and he was not digging it. He was a little bit bored, so I was like, oh, this isn't going to work. So I was kind of caught off guard, to be honest with you. I thought it was a good movie, but it was my first movie, so I was definitely going to like it. Um, But, uh, you know, I was a little bit caught off guard by the popularity, to be honest with you. I think we all were. What did you think of Bull Durham? Bull Durham was a lot of fun. I mean, we I was hanging out. You know, most of the guys on the team are the extras that played on the other teams. I didn't have that much to do in that movie, so I was hanging out with them, and they were all minor league ball players. You know, I think, like, was there a baseball player, major leaguer named Donnie Edwards? Do you there know? Was, there was remember, a, I think. 
There was a football player, Donnie Edwards, played at UCLA. Oh, I might be getting, yeah, I might be getting the names wrong, but you know, I was hanging out with real life guys that were aspiring to be in the majors, and it was that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. I hung out with Tim, Tim Robbins, and Kevin was uh, Kevin Costner was uh, exceedingly nice and kind of one of the only movie stars that I ever worked with that would pay attention when other actors were working and he watched me do one of my scenes and gave me some really good notes. So I had a lot of fun on that movie. And I played basketball with the director at the Y Hollywood Y Ron Shelton. Yeah. And all those guys from white man can't jump. And one other thing, Dan, we were listening to your show and tell that dude who called and said that slap shot is one of the worst sports <laughs> movies. He's on crack. <laughs> Uh, that movie was great. Uh, David, can, uh, can, is Wade is Wade there? Yeah, Wade Wade is sitting right next okay, to me. Okay, let's pass the phone. Right, uh, Wade Shank, who played Ollie in uh, Hoosiers. So from Everett to Ollie, and uh, Wade joins us now. How often do you get asked to shoot free throws, Wade? All, all the time. All the time. They, they always ask me, they said, do you really shoot them like that? And I'll tell you what, when I, was, uh, when I did the movie, I was in high school at the time. I played for my high school team. And my coach probably wished I would have kept shooting them underhanded. <laughs> you were that bad? <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> All depends on what you consider bad. Abusing the eye of the beholder. Who, anyway. who was the worst player on the Hoosier team? According to the script or according to <laughs> the players? No, according, <laughs> according to the players, Wade. <laughs> clarify yourself. I I plead the fifth on that one. Is it David? I plead the fifth. Was David the worst uh-huh. player? Was David the worst player? Fundamentally, yeah. Yeah. But as far as you know, like he said, he's Kurt Rambis. You know, not very, not very good score, but he did all the dirty, dirty work. You know. And you have so, that yeah. big scene, dramatic scene with the free throws. How many takes did it take for you to get that well, right? Well, how many times? I had? twice, two. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with 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 the movies, they're like you know they gotta have sh- shots from different angles and whatnot. And and believe it or not, underhand free throws aren't that hard to hit. You know, it's, it's you know a lot of people shot them back in the day. You had Rick Barry shot them. Will Chambers only tried at one time. Of course, he tried everything. I'm surprised Shaq didn't try once or twice. But uh, it wasn't that difficult to do. The hardest thing for me to do was dribble off my foot. Any other time, I could do it <laughs> on cue, you name it. But I'll tell you what, you try to do it, it ended up bouncing off my knee, and they said, we're taking that. <laughs> we're tired, tired of taking this again. We'll just take that one. And you're going to screen the movie tonight? Is that what the festivities are? Uh, they are, are screening the movie tonight from 6 to 8 uh, in the, the, high school, the high school gym that we played in, yes. If I told you 30 years ago you'd be famous for that role, what would you have said to me? <laughs> you're nuts. Yep. I mean, when I tried out, I was, I was in high school, and the only reason I tried out is I got a day out of school to come up and try out uh, up in Indianapolis. I lived two hours south, and there was like 1,500 kids there in two-day tryout, and I just went up there to have a good time. And at the time, they were building the, uh, the High School Hall of Fame Museum in Newcastle, where Steve Alford played, and I thought that's what this was going to be about. It was just going to be a local base, and I really didn't know who Gene Hackman was. I mean, he did Popeye Doyle back in the 70s, and here's the 80s, and he hadn't been seen for a long time and, and sure didn't know who Dennis Hopper was. In fact, you ask uh, who was up for that part, Jack Nicholson was actually up for that part that Gene Hackman took. Really? And the only reason he didn't take it was because the two Jakes, because he was contracted to do the two Jakes. Yeah. And David Anspaugh and, and, I'm sorry, and Angelo Piso went to him and said, what, who would you say? And he pointed out Gene Hackman. He said, he's perfect for it. So that's how he got the job. Wow. So, yeah. so Nicholson. You imagine Jack Nicholson? You imagine that? He wanted to do it. Bad. Could you imagine <laughs> him being the coach of the Hickory team? Huh? And Dennis Hopper? Him and Dennis Hopper? Really? <laughs> that would have been party time for you guys, Wade. It would have been. We would have got nothing done. It only took three months to shoot the film. It took six months to shoot it. Hey, have, have fun this weekend. Tell uh, the boys, hello. tell uh, Maris we said hello and uh, congratulations. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. All right. It. Uh, Wade Skank and David Nydorf in Hoosiers, 30 years later. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.